guys, Pro1701 here, and today we're doing another tier list. I'm going to be ranking the 5th Doctor's Era, <coughs> and like the previous tier list, C, of course, will be average. Everything above C is above average, everything below C is below average. We do also have a GOAT tier, only one story will be appearing in that, even though it's not actually my favorite 5th Doctor story. I'll explain that when I get to it. Uh, now, I ranked all of the 80s recently in my worst to best, but I have found that doing ranking them by tier, sometimes things kind of go in a different order, because I guess it's a different way of thinking about it. Um, but I will be talking about different ones. I'm going to be doing these out of order. I'm doing the kind of random order. I kind of like ranking them out of chronological order. It's like it makes me think about it differently, and I like that. So we're going to go with their default order here. And the first one looks like Maldron Undead. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of Maldron Undead, but I like it well enough. It's nice to see the brig back. I think it's C. I think C. I think it's about average for me, honestly. <clears throat> it's good to see the brig back, but it doesn't do a whole lot for me. Frontios. I like Frontios, but do I like it A or B? I'm going to say B, because I don't like everything about it. <clears throat> but I do like a lot about it. It's a solid B for me. Uh, the Visitation is definitely A. It's honestly knocking on S. I like the Visitation a lot. Plus, the uh, location work looks really good. Four to Doomsday is straight up S tier. I love Four to Doomsday. It's probably my second favorite story of season 19. It's just it, to be that good and be completely studio-bound is very impressive to me. It's not perfect. It has a couple sequences that go on a, long, a little too long, but I really enjoy that one. Time Flight. Hmm. I don't dislike Time Flight as much as some people do. But I still think it goes a little below average. Just a little. I don't think it's bad. I actually like it more than some people do. So I do think it's a bit underrated while still not being overly great. Warriors of the Deep, straight at the bottom. <clears throat> I do not like Warriors of the Deep. <coughs> Easily my least favorite Davison story. I've only watched it the one time. It needs a rewatch. It's not getting it anytime soon. I'll rewatch it when the box set comes out. It's just, it's not good. Um, Black Orchid. I'm not a big fan of Black Orchid. I think I got to put it there. I love the location work again, but I'm not a big fan of it. Earthshock, straight up S tier. Got to be Earthshock is that good. The Five Doctors, Goat. Got to be Goat. It's not even my favorite Davison story. I mean, it's one of my favorite Davison stories, but it's not my favorite Davison story. But I especially think with the 40th anniversary edition where they tightened up the special effects, it could be the most essential fifth Doctor story. It's a great celebration of Doctor Who, even if the plot's not exactly grade A plot. The new special effects look really good. The new grading looks pretty good. Uh, the location work looks gorgeous since it is the original film elements. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Plus, you get an opportunity to see previous Doctors in action as well. It, Five Doctors is just one of those st Doctor Who stories every Doctor Who fan needs to see, so it definitely ends up uh, in the GOAT tier. What do we have here? Resurrection of the Daleks is definitely S tier. <clears throat> Good stuff, even though I haven't watched it in a while. And it does need some updated effects. I mean, I'm tempted to bump it down, actually. You know what? Hmm. All right, I'm going to bump it down to A tier, just because I think it needs some updated effects. But it's close. It's knocking on the door. Castrovalva is S tier. This is my favorite Davison story. I love Castrovalva. It was the first Davison story I ever owned. Um, I absolutely have a strong love for that. And I love the updated effects on the Season 19 box set. Straight up S tier. Caves of Androzani, also S tier. <clears throat> Gotta be. Even though <clears throat> I think it's a little overrated, it is still definitely S tier. Objectively, Davison's best story. Uh, and definitely his best performance in the role. Definitely deserves it. Arc of Infinity... I really like Arc of Infinity...
Mm, that is hard. Do I like Arkham Infinity more or less than Earthshock? I like Arkham Infinity a lot. I really do. You know, I've got to put it in S. It probably deserves to be an A, but i got to put it in S. I love Arkham Infinity. Again, with the updated effects, it just gives it that final push. Like, I never watched the regular version. I love the updated effects. That's the definitive version for me. Kenda... <clears throat> you know, I'm not going to put Kenda at the bottom like some people think because the last half of Kenda does kind of help make up for the first half to a degree at least. So, yeah, it is. it, it doesn't de deserve at the bottom, but I can't put it any higher than E. Mm, what do we have here? The what? I'm trying to read the foot. I can't tell what that says. The Guardians? Oh, The Awakening. Is that what that is? The Awakening, it looks like. Uh, the Awakening, also an E. Good first episode, not a good second episode. Um, yeah, not a big fan of that one. The King's Demons. I do like The King's Demon. You know, I gotta put it in A. I like The King's Demons. It's my favorite of the Davison two-parters. I mean, I could bump it down to B. <clears throat> but I do enjoy my, my I've only watched it the one time, but I did enjoy it. Uh, one of my subscribers was nice enough to send it, and I did very much enjoy it. Of course, I own it on the box set now, too. Planet of Fire is a solid B for me. The original version. I don't care for the enhanced version much, but the original version is good. What is that? Snake Dance is a solid B for me. I like Snake Dance. Enlightenment is S tier. All three versions. I like all three versions of Enlightenment. And the fact all three versions are that good, definitely S tier. Uh, and Terminus, um, I think Terminus is a solid C, actually. Terminus, is, it's, a, it's a forgettable, but it has grown on me. I will admit it has grown on me. <coughs> so uh, I, think it's, I think it belongs in average, especially with the updated effects. Those do help. So we have five Doctors in Goat. Six of his 20 stories in S tier. That's pretty impressive, actually. Three in A, three in B, two in C. With only five of his stories, so about a fourth of his stories, in the below average category. One in D, three in E, and one in F. <clears throat> That's actually not bad. Not bad for only 20 stories. So I want to know what you think of this ranking and how you would rank them. Comment down below and let me know. Don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe button as well. I also have a Patreon if you would like to support me on that. Um, I want to give a shout out to some of my top tier patrons, Stephen Crane, Colin Coney, and Finn Perkins. I do appreciate their continued support, as I do the support of all of my patrons. It does make a difference. I also have a P.O. box down there, and a link to my Amazon wish list is down there as well. YouTube memberships are also available. Plus, you can just do uh, thank you contributions if you want. You know, just little donations to help grow the channel. I need to get a new tripod at some point. Uh, if you'd like to do that, most importantly, thank you for watching.